YouTube, it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker, here at my desk. I have a haul for you from the Goodwill bins. It's been a little while since I went. There was a rule change I didn't know about, and I sort of got fussed at, sort of. I was a lady I knew, so she was like, I haven't seen you in a while. By the way, you can't do this or that. So I'll get into that, but I wanted to mention briefly about vacation. I know some of you were very concerned about me being down in Florida, and other people were like, hey, I have a great vacation. <laughs> Maybe forgetting or not knowing that's where I was going. Um, we were just expecting for the first three or four days to have leftovers uh, from the one hurricane, and then we went ahead and flew down. We were at West Palm Beach. We stayed the night. It was getting really rainy windy the whole time we were down there in the evening it was bad and we started paying attention to news reports we had a couple people from home call and say hey you need to kind of look and see you know if you guys want to stay down there or not uh there was uh some people the first four days was in west palm and then we were going over to orlando for a week um the first four days was a work kind not necessarily a work function it wasn't like a meeting or anything it was a gift from the company to my husband for having such a great last year. There's probably 60 people who are going. A lot of people were bailing out last minute. No, not going to go. Uh, we were kind of like, well, you know, it's just the remnants. We won't get sun for a couple days. It's no big deal. We'll just wait it out. So by that next morning, when we started really looking at the radar and figuring out what was going on, and then Milton, where it was going to hit, and we made the decision to leave. Now, we called, um, we're calling Orlando to see if we could go and fly out. That was originally, we flew into Orlando, drove to West Palm Beach, we're gonna drive back to Orlando and then fly back out on the 17th. Um, ended up where we called and they didn't have a lot of flights. Um, and it was a three, like a three and a half hour drive from West Palm to Orlando. So some of the flights, there was no way we were gonna drive and, and be there enough time to go through security and all that. And then uh, we knew they were gonna be closing the airport down. So we called St. Petersburg, uh, the airport, and we were able to catch a flight out uh, the next day. So we got up early in the morning, we got packed from West Palm Beach and started up to Jacksonville. It was supposed to be about a four hour drive and because of traffic and a lot of people leaving, it was almost an all day affair. So by the time we got to where we were going, it was like 8.30 at night. Uh, we did stop in Orlando because it was a little boop, Orlando and then back up to St. Petersburg. So we stopped there for a brief uh, there was a restaurant my husband loves when he's in Orlando and I'm like you know what it's not out of the way let's just stop and eat you know our flights tomorrow will be fine blah 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 so we went to Cafe Tutu Tango in Orlando if you've ever been it's a really nice place but we stopped there for lunch we were there like an hour and a half so between leaving at like 11 a.m. to stopping for lunch and then uh, taking that last leg from Orlando to Jacksonville traffic was bad so by the time we got there we had already called ahead hey we need a we got the last hotel room uh one of the last flights out of jacksonville we got it the next day i think flight left at like 8 30 so we got up really early we stayed really close to the airport so we could just jaunt over uh, get our car checked in and fly out so all that being said we were thankful that we could leave um but a lot of people who live down there who have uh, had damage to their house uh, have had lost their house uh, we talked to a I don't know if he was a pilot he had flight crew thing on when we were on the tram uh, in Orlando why were we on the tram in Orlando I think it was one yeah uh, I think we did we stop I okay so we still we talked to the person uh, on the tram when we first landed in Orlando and we're going to get our luggage and go and this man from a flight crew said he lost his house but he's like I gotta work so it's like oh you know it's so easy to see things on the news and be like oh wow that really sucks okay whatever let's go do our you know and uh, being down there and being like oh our vacation was ruined 
you know, I, I'm very, I'm very thankful that we're fine and that we were able to leave and the vacation is really low priority when it comes to people who, uh, like, I think oh, like over a dozen people died in Milton. So, you know, when there's stuff going on and it interrupts your plans, you know, in, you know instead of being like, you know, eh, about it, I was like, I just feel bad for the people who are losing their homes, who have lost family. Uh, you know, you see the pictures of people's houses flooded and you think, oh my gosh, how horrible that would be. Uh, we had some really bad flooding, oh God, almost 20 years ago? Yeah, um, in uh, Northeast Ohio, really bad storms. Uh, storm water was coming up in pe people's basements and flooding. There's an area in my hometown that they have a river and it flooded a whole, you know, literally hundreds of people lost everything. They ended up condemning all of the buildings, the condos. So, I mean, even, you know, seeing that, it was, it was scary and it was bad. And even if someone didn't lose their house or didn't have a lot of damage, I'm imagining, because I've never been in that situation, the worry of, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, is it going to hit? Or what about this? What, let's prep. And, you know, I mean, that, that, that's mental stress has, has to be a lot. And if you are in those areas or affected by that, uh, any of the hurricanes or any of the anything, I'm so sorry. I hope you're going to be okay. And, you know, it's it's scary. So I just want to let you know, me and Mr. Pudgy Picker, we're fine. Everything's great. Um, but, you know, I want to pass on any kind of, uh, you know, thoughts with people who are down there dealing with it and now dealing with the aftermath of it. Um, so I just wanted to mention that. But, so, lighter note... I went to the bins. I spent a lot of money. I spent $48.33. So I got two big bags. You know, I always talk about my Mark's bags. So I got two big full ones of those. And I uh, already did, I had everything laid out on the table. That clip is next. But I had a few things that didn't have room on the table, but they're bigger. So I want to show those to you. Got it? We got it. So these always sell well. I don't find them very often because people snag them up. Um, even though this was in the bins, it does not look too abused. So it's this macrame wall hanging. So there's what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? So I know a lot of people, the boho stuff in 70s is very in. Uh, this is a decent size, so I could probably sell this for, I'd say, 20 to 24. So that takes up about half of what I paid for all of this stuff. So I'll price that and take it out. This was uh, very surprisingly not in too bad a shape. It had an original tag of $3.77, so I haven't cleaned that up yet. But it's this Mermaid Cove Seaside Island, Seaside Inn, uh, really vintage looking, um, what do you call it, thermometer. So, and it's got this where it looks like it's kind of beat up and weathered, but it's not. It's a new, it's a reproduction. So this will go out to my booth. I don't know, probably put, I'd say 10 to 12 on this should do well. So again, that's, I mean, that's a decent amount of what I got. This I saw and I was very surprised. There wasn't a lot of people there. I usually don't go on weekends. This time I went Thursday. It's Thursday or Friday. So I saw this, and it is a full sheet set that is bluey. If you've never seen bluey, I don't have kids or grandkids <laughs> this age. So, you know, you kind of lose track of what kid shows and characters. So I know these are very popular, and this is a full-size uh, sheet set. It has the flat sheet, the fitted, and two pillowcases. So this should do really well. I will look it up and put this on eBay. Now, these items, I'm thinking I'm gonna give half of these to my daughter and I'm gonna keep some of these. I saw these new packages and I was like, I don't know, grab it and find out what it is. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
like eight in each package and what they are is these towels so here's what they look like they're basically hand towel kitchen towels hand towels kitchen towels and here's what it looks like it's got the deer now there's like this pine tree has something in it and then the deer is opening those two presents so I don't they're sort of kind of Christmassy, but they're definitely wintry. Um, here's what the back looks like. So they are not that, what do you call it? Microfiber. Oh, I hate that stuff. I, act, I bought some new ones, microfiber, I think a year or two ago, and I hate them. But I don't use them as towels, Mr. Pudgy Picker. Oh, I got a space today. Always, you know, does the little, you know this for his dinner <laughs> my dad always did that too so it's sweet but I use them for that so I don't I don't use them for regular towels so so this was in one package second package and a third package so all of these brand new towels still sealed up so I was very happy with that set of eight it says so basically I mean, that's a lot, you know? I was very happy with that. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to give some of these to my daughter. I know when she moved out, I sort of went through my uh, kitchen towels and pulled some and said, here. <laughs> so, you know, we're kind of wackadoodle people. We like just stuff that don't mismatch. It's cute. It's good. It works. Use it. Doesn't match everything. Who cares? So I think she will be very happy to get these. She's coming over this weekend. So yeah, not too bad. So of course you gotta wash these. Uh, they don't have any tags on them, so I don't know where they came from. Well, just this kitchen towel set of eight. So I'll wash them up, I'll see what they look like. We'll go from there. So that was pretty cool. And then I think that's it. Everything else I'm gonna show you is in the next clip. So watch that. And uh, it's up right next. Okay, guys, so I showed you a few of the items that I got that I'm probably going to sell or use. So the rest of this, I decided just to lay it out like I normally do and go over everything that I got. So let's jump right in. I do use these bags for my uh, mystery bags. I put two inside of each other. Uh, if you look in my how-to uh, playlist, or you just go back maybe a month or two, you will see how I make my mystery bags, but I use these bags. And when you get them in the store, um, like just a regular, even the dollar store, they have only 30 and it's $1.25. So this was originally, what, back in the day, what, 68 cents for 50? Um, when I sorted everything, I got these two very cute African-American uh, little um, zip, clear zip for whatever you want. I guess it could be uh, makeup. In here is little game pieces. There's a few chutes and ladders. There's uh, these little cone ones. Where are they? I knew they are in here. Yeah, right there, that little green one. Those were in a... Uh, an old Peter Pan game. There's one Monopoly card and the rest of these are just memory cards. Like, not a memory card, like a computer, you know what I mean. The game memory. Um, this is a, all I know is it's it's a piece of fabric. It's, I believe, a, is it a panel or is it a hat? You know what, I should have been more organized than this. But basically, it's just got these. You could use, cut them out, use them as iron-ons, whatever. It says stars and stripes. So I will probably sell that on uh, in my booth, probably. I got some glow sticks, brand new, never opened. I don't know what I'm going to use those for. <laughs> we do have a couple of uh, another late night shopping going on, so maybe that would be something to wear. This really cute, now cute, I mean, it's, it is cute. It is a plastic, kind of really cool filigree design skull. It's very light, 
and I got a whole bunch of these and they all worked. I tried them first, but wouldn't that be cute? You wouldn't want to put a real one under there, but yeah, I thought that's pretty cool. So that will go in my booth. I don't know what it is, and I used to think it was my children's fault, <laughs> how silverware disappears, but I don't know what's happened to some of our forks, but we can't, I don't know, we're just low. So I picked up some. I usually find them at the thrift store and such. They'll usually bundle them like all, like a whole set or whatever. And I just needed forks. And these look like maybe three different kinds. So I think there's like 11 there. So yeah, we have a hair clip. Uh, let's see, I have a postcard with a creepy doll on it. I don't know, maybe you don't think that's creepy. These are kind of cool. These will go in my mystery bags. They're just um, they're just little lined notebooks. And these you can buy like a little leather cover that has the elastic strap that you put, you know, in the center of these. And then you can change them out. I got this very cute basket. Um, I have a little metal container for my... Uh, I have some pens and a pair of scissors and a letter opener. Uh, and some notepads in my kitchen, but it's getting really rusty and gross in the bottom. So I thought this would be good. So that's what that's for. That's for my kitchen. I found this candle only for you. It smells good. It's funny, the bag that that was in really smelled good when I opened it up. <laughs> um, all of these uh, votive candles, they all work. The tea light ones, I only picked up ones that have this little uh, plastic tab, which means the battery's basically new. So I think there's, what, three of those, uh, a loose plant. In fact, that's gonna go in here. I have some craft projects to do. <laughs> Speaking of crafts, um, we have some craft little bits here. I always think of my dad when I find these. I don't know. Some people make them into stars and stuff. I don't know. Uh, but we have an iron-on patch. This is a tiny little uh, little gift bag with a little card. Or not cute. There might even be two in there. We have some, I guess these are paper flowers. Very cute. Scrapbooking or whatever. This was in a whoops, scrapbooking kit. So I kind of just grabbed it. I haven't really gone through what's in here, but it's cute little stickers, basically. Uh, I have a little orange coaster. Great for mystery bag. Um, I make wine disappear. What's your superpower? It's a magnet. Again, ladies. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have some... Uh, what do you call them? Some little cubic zirconia, little sparklies. You know what, these would be great. Occasionally I have something that's missing one, but it's not enough for me to hold on to this. So I'll probably just put that in a mystery bag. We have some craft wire, copper wire. The good thing I can use this for is if I have something that has those sawtooth hangers, like two of them on the back of something, I will string some of this between them so I can hang it up on one nail for my booth. That makes it much easier for me instead of balancing and then two and then all that other stuff. We have some little plastic resin flowers, or no, leaves. We have a tattoo. Yes. We have, this is so cute. There's two little envelopes with two little cards and then these little things to seal them. Again, this is all mystery bag stuff. This I'm gonna go through because the bag is open, but there's tattoos and then there's those like stretchy choker things. Oh, couldn't handle that on my neck. Um, some sewing items. We got some snaps. Some of these are really old. Some buttons. This is really old. The hook and eye. You know, I always think mostly you use this, a lot of this on bras. And my grandmother uh, was one of nine sisters. And they used to make their own bras. I would love to see that process. You know, there's probably somebody on YouTube doing that. Now everybody's going to look, but you got to wait till this video's done. More buttons and snaps and hook and eye and snaps. Now these are, if you have a bra and you want to make it a race, razor, racer, racer back. 
And this was brand new and the package was demolished, sadly. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a copy of this and then I will put it with maybe one card or one item and put that in the mystery bag. I don't know. Um, buttons and then these uh, eye patches go underneath your eyes for sporting events. Yeah, these I'm probably gonna put on eBay because I don't think the average person really needs these. It's an eyelet and a washer. Um, the way you put these on is sometimes they have like a crimping tool, but this is if you uh, put a little teeny hole and then put this part through. See how it's longer on one side? You can't make that out. You put this on the other side and then you can just do it with a hammer. It makes little grommets. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six of those. I don't, I don't need those. I have brains, <laughs> contrary to popular belief. I have put these in mystery bags before, and expedient, and they're little stress balls. So if you want to squish somebody's brain, you're really mad at. So I got two hot pink ones and a gray one. Wouldn't it be cool if our brains were hot pink? I don't know. Anywho, I got these two little vintage silk purses. So there's that one. This one's really cute because it's like a little... Uh, a little ring or earrings with a little mirror. Isn't that adorable? So those will go in mystery bags. Uh, these were on a extremely tangled jute string. They were meant to be garland, I guess. But they're very kind of freaky looking. <laughs> their legs, their legs bend so they can sit. But there's one, two, three, four of those. And most of them don't have a neck. But, oh, this guy is so creepy. Ugh. So there's four of those. I did get some envelopes. Um, I can make do with these. I sometimes need the legal ones, you know, the bigger size ones. But, hey, this is Dollar General. It was probably, what, three, four dollars? And then I got it for probably less, way less than that. These are kind of cool. I'm not sure how I'm, if I'm going to open these up because there are... Each package has five uh, spinners and four colored sections. So I have three pack four packages of these. So I have 20 of these spinners. I don't know. Maybe I could put those in some uh, mystery bags. I don't know. You can come up with your own game for those, can't you? <laughs> um, I saw this fan. Um, this was really cool. I'm going to look this up on eBay. It is a metal snap-on tool uh, bank, which is metal. So you put your coins back there, and you can take them out there. Isn't that cool? I know snap-on tools are pretty high in demand, but uh, hopefully, maybe somebody will want that. If it doesn't go for a lot, that'll just go in my booth. Um, what else? Oh, these... I don't have a use for this, but I will probably put it in a mystery bag. It's brand new. It is a little shaker for with Tupperware. So I know it's one because it has the little shaky part. I can't do this one-handed, and I'm not going to break a nail for you. No, no offense. But yeah, it's got a sprinkle top in there, so that'll go in a mystery bag. These, um, they had a package, and I only took half. Uh, these are good for salad dressing or other smaller things. I do tend to pack my lunch when I go to my store to work. So I thought that might be good to have that. Um, I found a small bag of uh, like army colors. I guess it's a little person in there, Legos. So what I do is I hang on to those and then when I get a pound, then I divide them up into pound bags and I sell them at my booth. Not for a lot, but if I'm finding them, I find them. Because I never really find them in the thrift store or at garage sales. They're just priced outrageously at garage sales. So if I find them there, somebody will want to buy them. Um, I thought these were kind of cool. Little baby Coca-Cola cups. I'm probably just going to use those for bathroom cups. Both ends are tied, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, there's a little bunny. It looks like it was a toy from the movie Pets. I don't know where we were going on an airplane and I saw... I saw the movie. I didn't actually plug in and listen to it. Um, I got a 
This is one of those flopping fish. <laughs> I went to open it because I thought, well, I'm going to see if it works and put some batteries. It is a USB charging. So I'm going to test this out. And then I'm probably going to give this to my grand kitty, Juniper. She's blind. So she needs toys that either make noise or move or something. So I'm going to try that one out on her. And then this one, I was really happy because I thought she loves the crinkly stuff. But there's a rip in this one. So I thought, well, you know what? She ain't going to care. I'll just whip stitch that closed. And then she'll have a crinkly one to play with, too. So no laser pointers for Juniper. <laughs> I got this little book that says Escape Adulthood. Rediscover the Carefree Kid Within. I don't know. It's got, like, how to make paper airplanes and... You know, very cute. So that'll go in a mystery bag. Now I picked these up because I'm like, oh, those are kind of cool. I could use those for something. And then I found these, which I think were meant to be coasters. So this one says, drinking wine is not a habit, it's my hobby. A meal without wine is like a day without sunshine. And don't cry over spilled milk, it could have been wine. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm gonna glue these on and make coasters. So I think I got, what, five of these and three of these. I ended up finding a little container these were supposed to sit in, but it was kind of beat up. I looked for the fourth one and I couldn't find it, but I thought if I glue that on, that'll be a good, you know, mystery bag item, you think? Uh, shut up, liver, you'll be fine, or you're fine. I know it's supposed to be cutesy. Uh, I know people who have had issues with your liver. So if you don't find this funny or appropriate, I apologize. But I'm probably just going to put this in my booth for like two bucks with my wine stuff. Somebody will find it cute. You know, it's sometimes you see stuff and you're like, ha ha ha. So that was an item, but I threw it in my bag and it's one of those I'll think about it. And then here I am, it's sitting on my desk. So yeah. Um, we have some other little mini figurines here. He's actually fuzzy. So we have a husky. We have two chicken nuggets. These don't have any calories. Yep, they don't squeak or anything. They just look the way they do. I got this little robot man. I got another uh, little Lego guy. I have no idea who he is or she. Um, I got a little, uh, Yoshi on a bike. I have an army man, and I thought this was an army man too, but look at it. It's like a skeleton. Remember that movie? There was a movie or a clip, like, where they were doing the stop animation, and it was skeletons, like armies of skeletons fighting each other. I don't know what that's called, but that was interesting. I got, I found a horse. And I found a, I guess it's a Native American person. <laughs> Everything has to be so politically collect, correct. And I noticed that he was so bow-legged, I'm like, well, he'll go on the horse. So that'll go in a mystery bag. We have, this is probably from Pets too. this little dog. A little pug dog. We have a little Spider-Man. I have a little uh, police badge. The kid, police will probably give it Parra Heights. Yeah, so police are probably giving that out. It's just a little pin. We have a pinchy because, you know, those help with something. Um, we have a little baby uh, keys and a lock. So, again, mystery bag items. I have a little fuzzy um, keychain with a ballerina on it. I don't know if she's meant to be on there, but she's on there now. <laughs> I got a bunny Pez machine. Pez dispenser, whatever you want to call that. Oh, there's a couple of spiders in here, too. Very creepy. I'll put that in somebody's bag, and then they'll go to dump it out, and they'll ah, and scream, and then they'll be mad at me. <laughs> um, I thought this was cute. It is, uh, you, it's open. You can, it's, I was going to say openable. Damn. <laughs> the brain ain't braining today. But uh, this has, I think, Christmas socks. Is that what it is? Is it Christmas socks? We're never going to know. Mistletoe Mojito. Ooh, I like mojitos. I haven't had one in a while. 
can't really have it on my GLP-1, and I just don't have a taste for it anymore. These are so cool. This actually had a free tag on it. must have been at a garage sale. But they are American Airlines. These are the little pins they give kids if they want them on the plane. Do they even? I was like, do they even do that anymore? But uh, I guess maybe, maybe not. There is uh, probably 25 of them in there. So those will go in mystery bags. That's the kind of stuff I like for mystery bags, you know? Little, little figurines. I like, you know, little stuff like that. Oh, um, in here, this is actually a really nice um, shot glass. It's wood on the outside. It's Hawaii. It's Hawaii. <laughs> So there was a couple of, these are just decorative, I think, um, skeleton keys. Um, I hang on to these. I have a bag of them that I use for my um, my blind date with a book because I always put a key on it. And then there was some coins. I think this one was decorative. Uh, this one. Pass this on to someone who makes a difference. Aww. I think I might actually give that to somebody. And then these, uh, I don't know if these are real Chinese coins, but the ones with the holes in them. I, I think that's a brilliant thing, is to have a hole in a coin so you could string them together, but I don't know. I think those might be real, because usually if you get the ones that are for decoration or whatever, they're very thin and you can like bend them with your hand. These are quite thick, so they probably are real. Um, got a few games, so this is for holding your cards. This is that Peter Pan uh, game that I was telling you, the little spinner. Let me see, what does it say on here? It says, Tinkerbell's Magic Spinner, but that's vintage. And then these cards were in the game. The box was totally destroyed, so I didn't feel bad stripping any of these out. So these are different little playing cards, but they're all vintage. These are not that old, but you know, the old bingo cards. I like them. Yes, there was a box of Yahtzee. Yes, I just opened it up and took the pad. And yes, you're allowed to do that at the bins. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever have to buy Yahtzee ever again. We'll probably never ever use all the ones we have. Um, these are very, very small tags. They might just be just a teeny bit too tiny to put our store tags we have to use but i know someone who sells jewelry so i'm gonna give these to her this was originally a dollar 91 in the store um yeah so there's those these another vintage item i love finding and to find a whole bag of them i was very happy these are uh stir sticks uh we got a tiki one in there i'm sorry my fingers are all in the camera looks like a bowling alley very cool. Those are kind of like the matchbook of, you know, back in the day, people had those. They would have the coaster, paper coasters. They would have, you know, the matchbooks that had the businesses. So those are vintage. So those will definitely each individually, unless I find something in there that's outrageously really cool or rare, those will go into my mystery bags for men. Um, yeah, don't judge me on this, but I have some weird Halloween teeth. Now, don't ask. Ooh, there's a pair of wax lips in there. Not that I'm going to put that in my mouth, but man, that brings back some memories. <laughs> so, yeah, that's for a project. I've seen these before. These are like the little fidget things where you just squeeze them and there's a bean in there. <laughs> so there's that. We have a little measuring, plus we have the magnifier. And then a way to open up your uh, your envelopes. Uh, let's see. We have a little basket of, of fruit. We have these two tiny little baskets. They're so itty bitty. I'm sorry if you're getting seasick. I'm trying not to go too slow. But aren't these? Look how little these are. Imagine somebody making that. Ugh. Um, this, I'm sure, is... It's like a timer, a stopwatch, and yeah. It's got a little compass on there. I don't know. So I'll probably just put that in a mystery bag. Um, and again, we have more tags. Our store will use these. Oh, some of these have writing on them. 
So we'll use these. We have a if we have a locked case, we have a tag on it with a number, and it's in a locked case, so people get sign them out. So I might just give that to the store. We have two new cane tips. I always I have a little bin downstairs with the cane tips. So if I find a cane and needs a new end on it, I usually have one in that size. This is one of those magnetic, you can use it as, I don't know, look, an anklet and a necklace and around your belly. And it's like, oh, if you're young. So yeah, they stick together. So again, I'll just throw that into a bin. I never find batteries. I tried to look for the date on these, but I don't know. They're probably old, but I'll try them. They're Duracell. Hey, it says guaranteed 10 years. <laughs> and get my money back. This, you cannot see what it is because it had a price tag of like three, four dollars. It is a wine stopper and I cannot make out what it says. Uh, it says, get your martini on. Okay. So that, again, mystery bag. Ohio State is in Columbus. This is like a little Velcro thing. You can put it on your belt loop. And you could put, you know, it looks handmade. It has a price tag of $4. Now, if somebody made that, that's too cheap for $4. And then this one, I was like, what shape is this? And it's a little Velcro, and it has a little mirror on the back. So I'm thinking, that's for lipstick. So, and that one's also $3. Gosh, if you're making these... People just don't appreciate how much time and effort handmade things, you know, how much time and, and effort it takes. Um, I got a keychain ring, more binder clips. I use these for tons of things in my business. So, yeah, to find those pretty free, not free, cheap at the store is good. I got a tennis ball. These were new in a package. I only took the smaller ones. So there's four of these uh, chip clips. They don't have a magnet or anything, so that's what they're for. Uh, I got some vehicles. I have a little green car. I don't know if that's a police car or a fire truck or something. And then we got a little uh, scooper. And then a, this isn't a dump truck. It's a garbage truck. Or is it a dump truck? Garbage truck? I don't know. And I thought this was really cool. A little tow motor. Isn't that cute? And this part goes up and down. So again, mystery bags for men. Uh, you know, rubber duckies. I'm going to have a top ten list of things that I always find in the bins. And rubber duckies is going to be one of them. This one is so little. I don't think it squeaks. No, it just... Remember Squeaker on Toy Story? Yeah. So there's that. And we have two Meesey Mice for a kitty to play with. Um, I have two of those. I thought I saw another one somewhere and I kept looking and I'm like, why am I looking for a little mouse? But these will go into my mystery bags. This is pretty cute. Again, another mystery bag item. We have, I don't know, it's just a notepad. Uh, yeah, it's just a notepad. It's not a sticky note. It's got a little pen and a little, uh, a little place to put, I don't know, you could put something in there, a picture. So I thought that was cute. I don't know what this bracelet says. Monswell guide est mon plaisir. You know, I probably will look this up afterwards, but if you speak uh, Spanish, French, Spanish, I don't I took I took French in school, I always say, but pass trap. So I don't know exactly what this is for, but I don't know. I'll look it up, make sure it doesn't say anything offensive. But that's a mystery bag item. Um, didn't find too many Barbie clothes. Uh, this one, if I find a Barbie with clothes on, I will put it in the basket. And then when I have to wait for them to change out the baskets, I will strip all the Barbies. Look at that, so stiff you can stand it up. Then I have a big bag that I just put them all in. And then I list them all together as one lot. So there's that. These are little craft kits. And there's one, two, three, four of them. And it says foil art. 
and there's like five pieces in there. So I thought that was pretty cool. So these are little mystery bags. And then these uh, pads. Um, I had some pads that I was using for uh, grocery shopping. And I have two stores. So I go to Aldi and then a local store called Dave's. And I thought these would be perfect for that. I'm really going to miss the tablets I used before. Because I write it out in such a way that it's how the store is set up. And it makes it so much easier. But uh, yeah, so that's those. What else? Oh, this basket. These are so cool because you can take it out and then fold this part down in. And in here is all of the 100% cotton yarn that I use to make washcloths. You know, it almost doesn't pay to make the washcloths to sell because, you know, they just don't sell for that much. But um, when I find them in the thrift store, I find them in the bins, I get them. So, and you can, I can automatically tell by the way these are wrapped and the way they feel that they are 100% cotton. So we have, let's see, that one, uh, blue and white. I love the colors on this. It's like tan and blue and brown. Uh, black, white, yellow and white. Just a little bit left of that one. This one's pretty too. This one's like different color purples. That one looks new. So sugar and cream. So this is the 100% cotton ones. And then you can buy the bigger ones that are actually on a cone. There's a lot of this one gone. But I think it will probably match the yellow one. <laughs> and then I have a gray one. So is that it? Yes. But these are so cool. Let me show you. You just bend this down in here. And then you can just use it like a bowl. I just thought that was so pretty. Usually baskets and, and certain other items just get so beaten up. You just go to pick it up and it just looks like just somebody just played hockey with it. So that one and this one being in such good shape, I was very happy with these. Um, the last thing is this other little uh, pouch. Hang on a second. Okay, I had to dump them out. But there was some cute things in here, and these are so adorable. Look, <laughs> it's a little skeleton. Isn't he cute? Now he's uh, one of those ones you put on your ear, like with the backing. I think I may take that off and just do a fish hook style. But, oh, I just thought that's so cute. I don't know, are skeletons cute? And there's that one. Isn't that cute? So I will make earrings. And then these were on a hoop that was all rusty and yucky. So I'm going to go ahead and make uh, earrings out of these guys. Because I threw the other one that was out. They just look so cheapy and rusted. And then I don't sell much jewelry, but look at that. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one. So these will just go in a mystery bag. I mean, this bracelet... Maybe this bracelet, and then these I'll make and sell. I know we're rapidly approaching Halloween, so I don't know. But some people who collect this kind of stuff, they collect it all the time, so it's not really ever out of season. I think that is all that I got. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to show you this bag down here. This bag is about half full. This is all my ladies' mystery bag stuff that you've seen in previous videos. So guess what I'm gonna be working on today? I have a lot of guys ones made up, but I am literally out of ladies ones. So that's gonna be my afternoon. <laughs> it's a nice sit in front of the TV and watch, you know, listen to something and then work on it. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. I'm sorry if it took so long and I was bumping you around. I'm not a professional YouTuber, even though I've been doing this for forever. But I am one that just am showing you what I got. I'm not super into the photography end. So if you're new here, that's how we roll. We're a one-take person. We just, if we get our finger in the picture, it, it, we just let it go. We don't mention it. We move on. <laughs> we keep it pushing, as the young people say nowadays. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What of my items did you really like today? And what items are you just like, nah, I would have let it sit in the bottom of those blue bins because I don't want it. 
<laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for being here and spending your time with me. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.